Welcome to the online video series presented by Structure Studios. This video will review Smart Data. Smart Data provides automatic detailed calculations for your projects and will explain how to review these calculations in this video. Found on the left side of the screen below the Library tab, clicking the Smart Data tab will open the Smart Data panel. First, we'll start by reviewing the Selected Data tab, which is available for Pool Studio, Visterra, and VIP3D. We'll also review VIP3D exclusive features such as automatic and custom data, as well as how to automatically have Smart Data fill out your construction pages later in this video. Similar to object properties, but much more, the Selected Data tab will show us the detailed calculations about whatever is selected in the project. For example, let's click on the pool in our project in 2D. As we do, we see details appear for the selected shape, such as perimeter, area, height, and material choices. As we move our mouse over each piece of data in our Smart Data list, a green highlight appears on the data and on the object in both 2D and 3D, indicating what is being calculated. We can keep the highlight active by clicking on the eye to the left of the data. For example, clicking the eye to the left of rebar displays what is currently calculated in green. These highlights appear in both 2D and 3D, giving us another way to review these calculations. It's important to note that these calculations will only be as accurate as the drawing itself. If shapes are drawn in a way that make them overlap or not line up properly, values will not be calculated as accurately. Less accurate drawing will result in less accurate calculations. Ensure your drawing is clean to get the most accurate data. Smart data also cannot account for variations in the real world, such as dirt quality or uneven excavation. As each company and person works a little different than the other, we can customize how data is calculated and appears in Smart Data using the Configuration menu. On the Smart Data tab in Configuration, we can adjust values such as concrete thickness, rebar settings, and how to display certain measurements. When we press OK, we'll see the new settings applied to our Smart Data. For full details on each setting, please refer to the Smart Data Calculation Detail help page online. Let's select several hardscapes to get their data. We can either draw a box around the hardscapes we want with the Move tool, or press and hold Control and click on each one. We now see the number of hardscapes we selected and the combined values for all selected shapes. Some data cannot be displayed on a single line, so we can click the white arrow to expand the data. For example, we have several different surface materials applied, so clicking the arrow displays each unique material applied to our selected shapes. If changes are made to our project, we need to recalculate our data. Currently, all of our data appears in white in the panel, which indicates it has been calculated. If a change is made, such as moving a shape or adjusting height, the data will become red, meaning it is stale and must be calculated again. For example, we decide to turn coping off or on on our selected hardscapes. As we do, the values become red and the calculator icon highlights, telling us the data needs to be recalculated. Clicking on the calculator will recalculate and refresh our data. At the bottom of the selected data, we'll see the Details section. Clicking on this will display the individual shapes or objects we have selected. We'll see the names of the various shapes, a selection circle, a white arrow, and VIP3D users will see the Add Custom Data button. We'll review this later. Clicking the white arrow or the name of the shape will show us the data for that specific shape or object. We can mouse over the data or click on the green eye to see it highlight just that specific shape's details. We'd like to select just one specific hardscape. We can click on a blank section of the grid and click back on the shape, or we can use the selection circles here instead. As we click on the circle, this shape becomes the only one selected and our data is updated to reflect this change. We can also rename a shape by double-clicking on the name under Details and typing in a new value. This will also update it here and under Object Properties, where we can also rename selected shapes. The Details section comes in handy when selecting different shape types at once. For example, with Select Objects from any stage turned on, we can select both a pool and a hardscape. When we do, the data displays only common values, such as count, area, and material. Under the Details section, we can find the full calculations for both our hardscape and pool individually. Continue watching this video for details about VIP3D exclusive features including automatic data, custom data, and automatically loading data into our construction page layout. First, VIP3D members have access to automatic data. 
Here we'll find automatically calculated data for categories such as pools, hardscapes, and our markup layers. Clicking on the category name will expand it to show the data being calculated. Unlike selected data, nothing needs to be selected to calculate this data. These categories will automatically display everything from the listed stage. Just like selected data, we can mouse over the data to see it highlighted, click the green eye to keep it actively displayed. We can even see these highlights in both 2D and 3D. Clicking the selection circle on the category will select the corresponding shapes. We'll do this in the hardscapes category. If we're not in the stage where the shapes were created, we may be prompted to turn on select objects from any stage, or we can go to the hardscapes and deck stage. We use the hardscapes to draw several different types of shapes, including the pool decking, raised areas, and planter boxes. Because there are various uses for hardscapes, we want to make separate categories for our calculations. We have a few ways to do this. At the bottom of each automatic data category, we'll see a plus, minus, and reset button. We'd like to remove several hardscapes from this category, as they're existing in the client's yard and not needed in our calculations. We'll select the existing hardscapes by pressing and holding Control, and then left-clicking on each, and then we'll click the Minus button. These selected shapes will be removed from automatic data, and we'll see our calculations update including the count. We can add them back by selecting the shapes, and pressing the Plus button, or press the Reset button at any time. We'll leave these shapes removed for now. We can also create custom data groups. We'll select the removed hardscapes again with control and left click. With these shapes selected, pressing the Add Custom Data button at the bottom of the Smart Data panel or in the Selected Data tab will create a new custom data group. We'll double click on the name to edit it and call our custom data group Existing Hardscapes. Clicking the Save as Default icon will make this custom data group appear in all future projects. Also exclusive to VIP 3D, all of our data can be quickly added to our construction plans in page layout. We can even automatically have data load with our template in each project. Our existing template already has text added for hardscape data. We'll replace this with Smart Data Block and fill these details in automatically. We'll select our text to delete it, then click on the Insert Object button in the panel. We'll select Smart Data Block and press OK. Just like when adding legends, the menu will ask what we'd like to see appear in our Smart Data Block. Under the Smart Data Block settings, we can check entire categories, or click the arrow to select individual pieces of data. We can even add our custom data sets we added earlier. Data groups that are not present in the project won't appear in the list when Hide Unused Data is checked. Unchecking it will reveal all categories, even those without any active data. We'll check the Hardscapes option for now. We can customize the visual appearance of our Smart Data Block and preview the changes in the window at the top. Our first option is to add a group header at the top of each category. We can adjust the font, style, and size, color, alignment, and background for the header. Below that, we can adjust the font settings for the label on the left, as well as the value on the right. Adjusting the column setting will make the data evenly space out over that number of columns. We can also add gutter lines between each column and adjust the line style, color, and size. Lastly, we can choose to add a border around the block and adjust its settings as well. The final option is the checkbox that you have verified the data is accurate. It's required to check all calculations that are automatically generated. Make sure the items you've anticipated are part of each calculation. Make sure your shapes are drawn correctly and to scale. Ensure real numbers take into account overbreak, overexcavation, voids, rock displacement, settlement, and any other real-world challenges. When we're ready, pressing OK will add the Smart Data Block to the page. We can click to place it and move as needed. If we need to make a change or format our Smart Data Block, we'll press Object Settings to change any of these options. We can make other changes by clicking on the data directly in the block. We can click and drag to move the data up and down the list. With a piece of data highlighted, we can press Delete to remove it from the block. Double-clicking on data allows us to manually type in text. If the value on the right is adjusted, a yellow question mark will appear on the screen but not on our printed page to notify us that the information was entered manually. Click the question mark to restore the default value. Next, we can see a section where we would normally enter our pool area information manually. We'll delete this text, add another smart data block, select our pool, 
and click OK to insert it. When we're done, we'll put our block in place. We can do this with all of our existing text fields. Before long, we have our text replaced with dynamic smart data blocks. When we're done, we can save the smart data blocks as single templates to insert on pages or save the entire page, including our smart data blocks. In our next project and page layout, we can insert this template and it will include the values for the specific project we're in and they'll automatically be filled in for us in the smart data blocks. Now we'll save time on our future projects as all of this data automatically fills. Thanks for watching. For any questions, you can reach us at 800 778 8996 or email support at structurestudios.com.